Hello everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here bringing you another tutorial for Men of War Assault Squad 2's Gem Editor. Today we're going to take a look at something really cool I just found out recently, uh, surprisingly, is um, how to make working AI medics. Um, so no, it's not just where you uh, revive your men by clicking on the icon and it revives them. We're talking about on how to make the AI do it themselves without having you to having the player to do anything. So this is great for having, say, like if you wanted to face the enemy and have them have their own working AI uh, medic system. Well, now you can. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do that. But um, before we go into that, I want to explain just one quick thing I am using a new program a uh, video editing program called shadow play and uh, this is my first time using it well technically second time but first time putting it up on YouTube um, and so far I'm actually liking it it uh, has really good quality require it can record in the very high the pretty much the highest um, resolution you can think of uh, and it, it even allows to uh, allow me to record up to 60 frames so when this gets posted to YouTube this should be put in up to 60 frames in 1080p so it's gonna look really nice and really smooth and uh, I hope you guys like it um, so let me know what you guys think about in the comments down below if you like uh, the 1080p in 60 frames uh, I will continue to do, do that for the rest of my videos for now on. If not, then I will just go back to my 1080p with 30 frames. Because uh, in Shadowplay, I'm allowed to change uh, the FPS rate and, and the resolution at any time. So let me know because I know for some of you, uh, for uh, some of you viewers out there, you might not have the best uh, internet connection and higher FPS rates. You have to have a better download speed, so it may cause the video to buffer if you have, you know, if you're watching it in 60 frames. So it causes it uh, causes it to buffer every few seconds and uh, causes it to, you know pretty much lag every few seconds so I know that for some of you it may be bad but so let me know what you guys think and how it performs um, so yeah uh, so without further ado let's uh, jump right in okay so um, let's begin with uh, placing down some soldiers and um, we're just gonna go to the entities tab go into under human and MP um, and I'm gonna go to German I'm just gonna find a quick uh, German medic here and uh, I'm gonna place down the medic and I'm gonna place down some soldiers as well alright um, that should be good okay hold on one second I'm just uh, clipping this okay that's better okay so um, next what we're gonna do is I, oh, I forgot to change these guys to player one um, okay the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna first select our medic so select your medic and um, Press W then 6 to get to the tags of selection and we're just going to give them a simple tag. So uh, I'm just going to call this medic in my case um, and then hit OK. Now the men that you want revived, uh, we need to also give them a property. Uh, so select the men that you want to be revived. So right here in my case will be all the riflemen. And uh, when you select them, there will be the properties panel on the right. Um, you're going to be searching for the ables. It should be the third one down from the top. Uh, you're going to open up the expandable box and search for personage. Um, you're going to want to check this off. So uh, to check it off, you're going to click the box. The box will automatically be black. More than likely, uh, personage will never be checked off no matter what. So you want to check this uh, and turn this on by clicking the box. Now to do that, you just click the box itself. If you click the word, it will not turn it on. Uh, you got to make sure you, you actually click the box and to make sure you know you've done it correctly the box will turn white so any boxes that are white means it's on black means it's off so uh, all you have to do is just check off personage and then you are all set um, okay so now we can go um, and head over to our triggers and uh, you could see I've already have it set up but I'm gonna redo it and start from scratch to show you guys how I did it so uh, right click on the triggers and make a new trigger and uh, for the condition, we're going to right click and find entities, open up the entities um, properties. And what you're going to do is you're going to do um, instead of the tag or zone, you're going to go to player uh, and you're going to select the player that you currently have these soldiers, you know, the team that you've selected and put them on. So in my case, it was player one. So 
instead of doing it by tag, we could have done it by tag, but this is going to generalize every single unit that's on player one. So if let's say you have some infantry on the other side of the map or whatever, um, this will generalize every single infantry on the map. All right, so uh, that are under player one's control. Uh, so in this case, there are only these small riflemen right in front of us. Um, but let's say if you have a bigger map, um, you're going to want to generalize it by putting player one. If you want to generalize just by specific soldiers, then yes, you can do it by a tag. Or if they're in a specific zone, you can also do it that way as well. For my case, I'm just going to do player. Now, next, you're going to want to go to the state and change this to dead because uh, the commands won't activate until someone's dead, right? The medic can't do his job until someone's dead. So, and you can keep the count and the value at greater than zero because if any dead are greater than zero, so if there's one dead or more than one dead, then this will allow them, uh, the commands will activate. Uh, just really quickly before I move on, uh, the personage, when you check this off, like I said before, uh, this will allow them to be revived, so they're not technically dead, but they'll be knocked out. So if you ever notice in the skirmish missions, uh, they'll be down but not out, so you can revive them. So just to clarify that up really quickly. Okay, moving up to uh, commands. So when you're done with the condition, you can move to commands. And the first thing we're going to do is go to, uh, we're going to do action. So you're going to go on to actor and action. It should be the second one down. So action. And we're going to expand this box. And uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to give it the tag of the medic we just found. So uh, that we just gave the tag to. So go to where it says tag and, you know, give it the medic tag of the infantry that's going to be reviving. So that's all you need for that. So it's just the selector of medic. Now, the action will be, um, you're going to open up this box and scroll down until you find injection. Uh, an injection is just the way it sounds. It's gonna He's going to inject uh, the morphine into the infantry so he can revive them. This is the actual real um, action that causes them to do that. So you want to check off injection. Uh, next, we're going to go to our target. And the target is just asking who's it going to be. Well, uh, we're, again, we don't have any tags for this guy or they're not in any zones, but we're going to generalize them by player. So we are... Any units that are player one, which are these men right here, and they are dead. So if they're dead and they're player one, then these guys will be injected by the morphine. So they have to be um, a specific state of dead and they have to be on that certain team. So when you're done, you can hit OK. And um, you are all set. You don't need volume or waypoint. So we are all set with this. Uh, moving on to our next command, we are going to add in, and this one's going to be actor state. And uh, if the actor state, you're just going to go to the selector, open up the box. Uh, for the tag, again, give the tag of the medic once again. Uh, and this actor state is just, we're going to simply make him run faster. So go to the speed and change this to whatever you want, but I'm going to change it to fast. So this way, when he sees a man down, he's going to run there instead of just walking there. And this only helps a little bit. You do not have to do this. This is completely optional. Okay, so moving on to our next command, uh, we're going to do um, a delay. So just add a delay. Now, the timing for this delay can be anything you want, but I'm going to put a roughly around three seconds. And what this is saying is this is how many times um, the commands will loop. So every three seconds, this command will loop. So if there's a man down, uh, he'll go and get that man, but... If there's another man down right after that, he won't go after that person until three seconds later. And usually that's a small time. So anyways, by the time he picks him up, he'll go to right to the next man. So in order for our commands to actually loop, we need our final command, which is the trigger command. So just open up trigger and go to where it says name, expand the box and, uh, you know, just select the trigger of, you know, the name of the trigger that we made earlier. And that's it. And this causes that causes it to loop all the commands. And uh, we are all set. Now, before I test this, um, I want to select the medic. And I'm going to put him on invincible so he does not die. Because if he does die, then these guys can't be revived. So I'm going to put this guy on uh, impregnable, a full. And uh, I'm going to put these guys in... Uh, hmm. 
let's say like uh let's say we'll put this guy these movement guys in a zone so i'm just going to make these guys have a quick zone um and this is like the zone that they'll be moving in and that should be good enough okay all right now we should be good so let's test this out so I'm going to focus my main efforts on the medic himself, and we're going to watch how the medic automatically revives these men. So uh, we're going to wait for the attack to start, which should be happening any second now. So again, we're going to keep an eye on our medic. We're just waiting for one man to die at least. Uh, what I'm going to do is to speed this up just a little bit. I'm just going to make that guy run out into the open. But the French can't shoot for them for their lives, so they're like, this is going to take a while. There we go. Okay, so as soon as he got down, you'll notice that the medic gets up and grabs out his morphine kit and picks him straight up. And you know, he'll keep reviving him. And this is great for, uh, you know, if uh, the enemy... This is good for, like, if you want to face an AI that's more challenging now. So the enemy, once you kill one guy, he just can't die, uh, you know, stay dead forever. The enemy now can fight back and stay alive for quite a while until you pretty much kill the medic. So this is a great way um, to keep, you know, men alive. So the AI can now face a much larger force with a small amount of forces. Now these guys are getting screw uh, pretty much screwed up, but... Uh, you can get the idea on how these guys automatically, he goes from one man to the other, and pretty much just keeps reviving them. This guy's on Invincible, so that's why he's not dying, but... So, uh, yeah, that's really about it. So this is really effective for any mission that you want to make. So I, I know a lot of people have been asking about this, so this is a great way to, you know, add into your skirmish missions or any mission that you like. Uh, make the AI more challenging, so, you know, they are harder to pretty much kill. Um... So yeah, so I think this is really about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it and favored it, um, you know, anything like that. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments down below, and I'll try to ask them for you. Um, everything you need to know will be in the links in the description, uh, all down below, and all that stuff. So again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. See you later.